not sure how long ago it was now, but uh, obviously got King here to a part of just being out with the boys and, um, you know, that night I had too much to drink and just walking home. And it wasn't great, you know, I was with my older brother at the time and, um, you know, I was just glad that he knew what to do and uh, looked after me and then obviously your parents getting a phone call and, you know, hearing that their son's been hit, you know, it's not just the individual that's thrown a punch or one that's got hit, it's, you know, family waking up to calls or, or mates that have to witness it. So I'm no different, I'm only 26 and, you know, you go out and have a beer with your mates and that on the weekend and um, it's just being strong enough in yourself to say you've had enough and, um, you know, even telling your mates they've had enough and, and you're sending them in a, in a cab home and it's an important program initiated by the Australian government to, to spread the, the message around, you know, binge drinking and, um, you know, I think 70 Australians a week get hospitalised from, from alcohol-related violence and, you know, we just want to talk about the message the importance of going out, having a good time, but you know, being strong enough to say enough. And it's not about not drinking at all. You know, we've, we're realists. We know people have a drink, but it's about doing it in moderation and doing it the right way. You know, if you're a true friend and a good group of mates, you look after each other. And you know, it's not being tough, getting in a fight or things like that. It's you know, it's actually it takes more courage to tell your mates to leave than to, to let them go, and, and you just go home. So, you know, when you see something, you know, say it and get guys out of there and, and leave at the right times.